Can you tell us what Meaningful Beauty is and how it came about? Well, Meaningful Beauty, I guess I just want to back up a little bit. So I started um, my first kind of foray into doing my own thing was an exercise video. And it came about in a very organic way, which is that I had worked out with a trainer for a long time. And, and I, I felt like what I learned from him besides, you know, being able to fit into the, sh the clothes from on the runway was all about empower, empowerment. And um, so he and I had this idea. And at the time, Jane Fonda was the only one who had really was doing exercise videos, which was a different generation than mine. So we were like, let's do one that speaks to my generation. And it was a great project because I got to hire the director. I, was, I got to you know, work with the art director. And I found that I really liked being involved in the whole project, not just being told where to stand, what to wear, how to smile. So I had a great first experience. Um, and then I had been with a cosmetic company, Revlon. But, but hold on, oh, okay. what was the name of that? That was called, um, gosh, uh, something, Shape Your Body. Shape Your Body. So yeah. I don't want to gloss over this. So this is before sort of digital downloads. How many copies did you, know, you sell? A lot. And I don't remember. And Five I knew million. you were going to ask Five that. million. Yeah. Five million. Not yes. downloads, not views, yeah. sales. Yeah. Not no, a small. It was. It was, small. it was successful. It was. <laughs> well, it was successful in a lot of ways. Like I still think it stands to this day. I'm still like, and that's the other thing. You always want to do something that if you're like I always say like if my friends see this and at a party if they come up to me and go oh I just saw your new infomercial. I want to be proud of that. I want to go oh you did great instead of oh. Mm -hmm -hmm. So, um, like that exercise video, I feel to this day. I'm still proud of, um, and and it did. You know, I think it. It was just we caught a wave. We were lucky. We were in the right place at the right time with the right product. And but for me, it just started. It, that was probably my um, introduction to entrepreneurism. Like it was like, oh, uh, this is fun. This is interesting to me. Um, and then I had been with Revlon for many years as a spokesmodel, and. After, when I was 35, my contract was getting ready to expire, and they were trying to renew. But I don't know. I had this relationship with a doctor, and we had talked about doing a skincare line together, and just the timing felt right. And so I did not renew my Revlon contract, and I partnered with Guthy Ranker, who is the, you know, I think they're the best um, infomercial company. And the reason I chose infomercial, and it was a hard decision, to make. It wasn't, you know, I definitely interviewed everybody from super high end to, uh, you know, chain drug stores. Like, how, who do I want my brand to speak to? Again, go back to your brand book. Who do I speak to? And I felt like because of Revlon and Pepsi, you know, I wasn't the super high elitist brands. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I like to buy some of those things. But I don't feel like that's who my audience is. I feel like my audience, it's about, I'm from the Midwest, it's about accessibility. I have two sisters, I always think, would my sisters like this? Could my sisters use this? Could my sisters afford this? So in making the decision where to do Meaningful Beauty, um, we decided to partner with Guthy Ranker because I felt like 30 minute infomercial, you have a chance to tell your story and that we had a real story. It wasn't a made up thing. This was a doctor that I had been working with for seven years, and I, and even the name "Meaningful Beauty," it was intentional to talk about that. Look, I'm not going to just try to sell you a million creams that don't do anything. It's every single product has to be meaningful. So we had an idea, we shopped it around, we decided to partner with Guthy Ranker, and I thought, oh, I'm going to do an infomercial, and I'm going to make millions of dollars overnight, right? That's what everyone thinks. Like Q, you go on QVC once, that's it. You're a gazillionaire. Perfect. Um, I, what I know now is how much I didn't know about the business and how much I didn't understand and how much I still don't understand. Um, and I've learned a lot.